this video I'm going to show you how to import contacts from iPhone to Mac and how to add contacts to iPhone on Mac. There are several ways that you can export your contacts from your iPhone to your Mac. The first method is to transfer contacts from your iPhone to your Mac via iCloud. So this is the process that should be followed. Go to settings and into iCloud and make sure that contacts are turned on. If you had any existing contacts on that phone, you would uh, be asked to merge them with iCloud. There are two places for you to save iPhone contacts to your Mac. In your contacts, in other words, your address book, or a vCard file in your local drive on your Mac. Go to iCloud.com and sign in. Once you've logged in, select contacts and select Click the cog. Now, if you want to export one contact, you select the contact and select export vCard. And that one contact will then be downloaded into your downloads folder. Now, you can cancel here. If you want to select all your contacts to export, select the cog, select all, which selects all of your contacts, click the cog again and export the vCard. Now they all will be exported and downloaded to your downloads folder. Cancel that. So in the downloads folder are the two vCard files that are downloaded and they're, they're downloaded as VCF files. To save your iPhone contacts to your Mac address book, you need to set up iCloud on your computer and you do that through system preferences and just make sure contacts is turned on. And as well, ensure that in your phone under settings, iCloud, that you've got contacts turned on. Now, when you log into iCloud.com, you can click contacts to see all the contacts. Any change you make to a contact on your phone should now be reflected in contacts on iCloud.com. So if I add an email to one of my contacts, And the Apple contact currently does not have this new email. So I'm going to tap done on the phone. Now I added an email. And now if I reload the page, that contact from my phone will be synced back to iCloud. And there it is there. It's updated. And vice versa, if I change an entry on iCloud, then it will be synced back to the phone. If you don't want to use iCloud to transfer your contacts from your iPhone to your Mac, then you can use third party software. And an example of that is Dr. Phone for iOS from Wondershare. So download and install the program, run it on your Mac, connect your iPhone, with your Mac via the phone's USB cable. Click Recover from iOS device and then click Start to start scanning your phone. Now this may take some time, so you just need to be patient. And you can go through your list of contacts one by one. Uh, select those contacts that you'd like to export to your Mac by clicking. So every one of these I want to keep. I don't want to keep the top one, which looks like a mistake. So go through all your contacts. Selecting those you'd like to keep. So I'll collect, select some. Some look like they're duplicates. So there's an opportunity not to select those. Once you've selected all the contacts you'd like to save, then just click export to PC. Save it to the desktop. Click save. And now my desktop are uh, my contacts. And I've got a number of formats. So I've got them as V cards, the VCF, or as a CSV file, which I can import directly, or as HTML where I could where I can view them uh, on the on a browser. It's not really possible to import contacts from your iPhone backup file, which is your iTunes backup, since contacts are backed up inside the file. 
you can't actually extract single files from the iTunes backup file unless you restore your phone. Here's an iTunes backup and I'm on the info panel and I can sync all contacts or if I select contacts in the advanced tab, the next time I sync my iPhone, all the contacts will be replaced with information from the iTunes backup. I can't extract individual contacts. What I would need to do is use third-party software like Dr. Phone for iOS, which is Mac iPhone data recovery software from Wondershare. I could extract iPhone contacts from my iTunes backup file. Download and install the program and then select Recover from iTunes backup file. Select the backup you want to use and start scan. Once the scan is finished, you can preview all the contents of your iPhone contacts and you can see them all listed there and whichever ones you'd like to recover, just select them. Now if you click recover to device, it'll be saved back on your phone, so it'll export to PC. Select the location, just put it onto the desktop and change the title if you like, save. And the contacts are in a folder on my hard drive in three formats. To import those recovered contacts to my Mac, open up contacts and then I can import, import. There's the folder and then I can select BCF. They're the contacts that I selected. Select the folder and click open. The straightforward way to sync contacts from your Mac to your iPhone should be using iCloud. If you don't like using iCloud, you can always upload your contacts to Gmail first by exporting them as vCards and then transfer the contacts from Gmail to iPhone later. But for now, let's look at how to use iCloud to sync contacts from your Mac to your iPhone. Click the Apple icon on the top left of your Mac and select System Preferences. Find iCloud. Make sure you've signed in and turn contacts on. Go to Settings and into iCloud and make sure that contacts are turned on. So in this video, you learnt how to import your contacts from your iPhone to your Mac and how to add contacts to the iPhone on a Mac.